Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So you I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. <sighs> Hear that? Oh, no. Move! Oh, no. oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awful. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm in. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. 
One of these days, we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. You really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. <laughs> prepare. Oh. <sighs>
We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Nope. Everyone in town is here. I don't like the look of this. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pe How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! <laughs> The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelots! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... The Griefer Grab! Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose.
Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, we'll worry about ours. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden that pump. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. We've got to get Ruben. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oof. We're right behind you. Ah! Ah! him anywhere Reuben the sun's going down we gotta find him fast he could have gone anywhere and this part of the woods is huge we stand a better chance of finding him if we split up if either of you get lost just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town got it got it Reuben where are you just give me an oink if you can hear me hmm pig tracks Ruben? Ruben, come here, boy! Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Definitely belong to a pig. Hmm. There's no way Reuben made these on his own. Hey, Reuben. I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Reuben, are you in there? Ruben! No, not you, the pigs! Hey, all pigs but Ruben, shut up! scary out here. Reuben? Reuben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh, jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben.
There you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... show you something not that this isn't a really cool dimly lit tunnel but how far away is this thing you want to show me careful jesse you don't want to get a reputation as a wimp y y this isn't my first time in a cave petra yeah but have you ever seen a wither skull whoa fresh from the nether you're the first person i've showed it to you risk your life for that dusty old skull Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm going to exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's going to trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Uh... 
Just place the pieces on the table. Isn't it better when you make it yourself? <laughs> Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jess. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. Woo! into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like... A lot disappointed. Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. 
very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Just who are you? No, who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed, then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Well, we won't find him just standing around. Step aside, please. I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it had... You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh. Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Coolorama. Ha! <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Hey, do you take requests? 
I'm not trying to question your playlist. I just, uh... Nah, it's all good. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking, beardy guy anywhere? No. Hatcher told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. Stop messing around, we need your help. I was looking, I swear. I've just got a short attention span. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. And I'm busy right now, man. What, busy trying to get a life? I'm busy trying to find some friends. Hey. You're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. <laughs> Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bone. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! <laughs> What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. But he should cook up real nice anyway. Give him to me now. You wouldn't be threatening me, would you? What if I am? I'm not interested in arguing with you. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. It's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Tickets? <laughs> Here's the thing. We had tickets, but we lost them. Ah, oh, man. I hate it when stuff like that happens. Ugh, me too. I, I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. Chicken! 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 Oh! It's gone. Totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoot, shoot! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine? 
to create the mother of all distractions. But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, I really need to get inside. You and every person here without a ticket. Any ideas? Yes. That pertain to our current situation? No, thought so. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here. Just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. Can I please, please have some slime? Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, sorry, just your regular, everyday chicken enthusiast here. Don't make me call security. Uh, just one more thing, ma'am. One more slime ball, please. I'm afraid not. If I break the rules for you, then I have to break them for everybody, and then I'll be out of slime completely. Sorry. Come on, please. Gotta find one more slime ball. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Oh uh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafted time. So, you guys have been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... There. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Now's our chance. Ah! 
Hey! <laughs> Where'd he go? There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. Whatever we have to. You're way more intense than I gave you credit for, Jesse. You ready? Ready. You see anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we should do whatever we have to. And if this guy's not around, what we have to do is steal. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have any fun. We let you hang out with us. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing. too soft but super flashy yeah i don't think this guy does much fighting hey you still have that one stone sword right yeah i had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier you know to save reuben's life impressive you're keeping it but i thought it was too soft too heavy eh, it still might come in handy and it is super flashy Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion. I know this is a big step, but... It's yours if you want it that bad. I've never wanted anything badder. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. Maybe it's some kind of machine. If it is, it's not like any machine I've ever seen. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. There's gotta be something bigger going on here. We need to get out of here. Whatever this guy is doing, I don't want to be around when he gets back. If he's doing something shady, we need to figure out what and why. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither... That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys? Scatter! Do 
Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? 